What's going on everybody? So in today's video we're going to cover Reactostify, how to implement it, how to add transitions and other CSS items. This is a quick demo of what it's going to look like. If I were to refresh the page, we can see all toasts that are inside of a toast container, which are these four right here. We can also see a Axios request error right here. So as soon as I load up the page, we can see this Axios API error as opposed to just const logging error. And if I were to click a button, it'll open a custom toast that's not inside a container or an Axios request. So let's get into it. So the first thing I did was I created a React app and I started it up. And now I'm going to do is install our dependency. So I'm going to do npm i react dash toastify. And as that's happening, I want to make another terminal. And I'll also do npm i Axios. And let that happen. Cool, so now that I've installed all my dependencies, I'm going to go to bash1 and I'm going to minimize my terminal since we don't need that anymore since I already started up the app. And I'm going to go to app.js and inside of here, I'm going to import all the stuff that we had. So it'll be import toast container, we'll do toast uh, zoom bounce from react toastify. And I'm also going to import the CSS, so it'll be import react toastify slash dist slash react uh, toastify dot CSS. And now I'm also going to import Axios, so it'll be import Axios from oops from Axios, and I'll save that. Ah, oops, get that out of there. There we go. All right, let's get rid of the stuff that we don't need. So we're not going to need this logo or this content right in here. I'm just going to get rid of it. Oops, let's keep the div class name app. And I'll turn this into an ES6 syntax. So it'll be const app is equal to empty curly brace and then arrow function. And so now what I'm going to do is refer to the documentation of React Toastify. Uh, the link to that in the description below. I'm going to import our four toasts that we can do. So one is going to be error, success, info, and warn. So it'll be real simple. So it'll be just toast, error, and now inside of here, I'll just type in the text that we want. So we'll just do, let's say, oh, no, error. And let's do a toast.success. You succeeded. I think that's how you spell it. Probably not. but And then a toast info. You have been informationalized cool uh, toast dot warn and here it is be you have been warned nice so the way that we're gonna actually import this into our application is very simple we're just gonna inside of our return statement right here I want to make an empty greater than less than symbol and a closing one and inside of here I'm just gonna do toast container with a self closing brace and if we save that and we go back into our app, we'll see that we have our Toastifies appearing right here. And if we hover over it, the times do stop. So let's say we want to edit the properties of our Toast container. So that'd be very simple. Inside of our project, all we need to do is inside of Toast container, we can add our properties inside of here. So I'll give three examples. So let's say we want to turn our draggable, which is just dragging a Toast out of um, out of the DOM, we can just set it to false and we can do a transition and if we make that equal to let's say zoom we can also do a auto close and we can set that to let's say 8000 and if we save that and go back into our app we'll see that initially it zooms out and we can't drag it out of proportion and it does take 8 seconds to close was it 8 seconds? Yep, eight seconds. So let's say we have a custom toast that we want to uh, show that's not inside of our toast container. So what we can do is we can actually make a function inside of here. I'll make a function. Let's do a const success toast. And inside of here, what we would do is we would do toast. Oops. And the first thing would be the title or the text of the toast. So I'll just say success custom toast and oops not inside 
right there. And what we'll do is if we want to attach a class name to it to edit the CSS, we just do class name and I'll just call it custom uh, toast. Now let's say let's say that for this one we'll make draggable to be true. And we want to edit the position of it, so we can do position toast dot position. Oops, capital position. And here we can pick uh, the position we want. So let's do top center. We can do top left, top right. We can do bottom center. Uh, let's do bottom center instead. And if we save it, and we go back to our app, we'll see that it's not there because we still need to apply it. So let's say we want to apply it on an on click of a button. So I'm going to do a button right here. Let's say I'll add text of uh, invoke success toast. And so on click, oops, on click, we'll just do success toast. And if we save it, we go back into our app. It looks like we have this button, and it opens up right down here. So the next example I want to give is let's say we have an Axios call where we have a dot then and a dot catch usually we would just console log a catch and just see what error we get but instead if you're making a deployed application and you don't want to show console logs anymore you can use a react toast instead so what that's going to look like is right inside of here we can do a simple axios dot get and i'll just do a fake url i don't know what this would go to but it doesn't go anywhere so and then I can do a dot then inside here I'll do a res for a response. Whoops, let's bring this back. And we can console log the response. But we're not gonna console log anything because of course this is not a real uh, request to anywhere. And I can do a dot catch inside of here. I can do if error. I can make a toast now. So it'll be the same thing as what we did up here. So it should be toast, and I'll call it API error. And we want to give it a class name of, let's say, error toast. Oops, toast. There we go. And I'll do draggable to be true. And I'll do a position. So let's move this one to be top center. So it should be toast dot position dot top center. And if I save it, we go back to our app. The first thing that's going to happen is these are going to appear, and that's our API error right there. That's our catch. Instead of console logging, we show a React toast. All right, the final thing I want to talk about is CSS and how we can apply it to our toasts. So inside of our application, we can obviously add CSS into here or into here or even into the toast container right here. But let's say we don't want to do that and actually do it in a separate CSS file. So since we have a class name here applied error toast and we already have our app.css imported, I'm going to go ahead and open it up and I'm going to select the class name error toast and let's change the background color of it to chart reuse. I don't know that's how I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but and I'll do a font size. Let's do to 25 pixels so we can really see a difference and if we go back to our app we'll see after we refresh the app uh, the font size has increased and there's a background color all right so that concludes the tutorial so these are some very basic ways of using react toastify and how to implement it into your app uh, the documentation link is in the description below so mess around with it uh, to get a better understanding of react toastify like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.